Hello, and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's maths lesson, we're taking a first look at the units of length. Our waltz for today is to name some units of length and to use them to estimate the length of different objects. But first, what does that word length mean? When I ask you about length, what am I even talking about? Pause the video and see if you can write down what length means. Well, when we talk about length, we're talking about the distance from one place to another or from one point to another. That could mean the distance from one side of a cake to the other side of the cake. It could mean the distance from my toes up to my head. We could be talking about how far I can run. That could be a length. Or we could be talking about something huge, like the distance from one side of the earth to the other side of the earth. Depending on what we're measuring, we'll need to use a different unit of measurement for length. Do you already know any of the units of measurement for length? Pause the video and write down an answer. Did you think of these? We have CM, which stands for centimeters. We have M, which stands for meters. And we have KM, which stands for kilometers. We use different units of measurement to measure different things. Let's start off with centimeters. Would you be able to think of something that is one centimeter long? Pause the video and see if you can think of something that is only one centimeter. Well, a good way to remember how long a centimeter is, is by holding up your hand, looking at your little finger or your pinky finger, and seeing how far it is from one side of your pinky to the other side of your pinky. That's roughly about one centimeter. How about a meter? Can you think of any way of showing how big a meter would be? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, a meter is quite a bit bigger than a centimeter. In fact, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So that means there's a 100 pinky fingers beside each other to make this measurement. The best way to think of one meter is to stretch your arms out to the side and roughly from one hand to the other in a straight line across is one meter. How about a kilometer, our biggest unit of measurement today? How far do you think a kilometer would be? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, let me tell you, one kilometer is big. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. That means, imagine a thousand children standing beside each other with their arms stretched out. Or, if you can picture how big a football pitch is, one kilometer is ten football pitches in a big, long row. That's so many pitches, they don't even fit onto this screen. Okay, so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, and one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Remember that, that's a very important fact for today. If you know those facts, how many centimeters would there be in two meters? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, if there's 100 in one meter, then there must be 200 in two meters. So the answer is 200 centimeters. How about this one? How many meters are there in five kilometers? Pause the video and see if you can figure out the answer. Well, if there is one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, then five kilometers is going to be equal to 5,000 meters. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit harder for you now, and I'm going to get rid of the facts on the side as a helper. If you think you're going to need them, maybe write them down on a piece of paper before going into the next ones. Okay, here we go. How many centimeters are there in seven 
meters. Pause the video and write down an answer. The answer is 700 centimeters. Next question. How many meters are there in 9 kilometers? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, the answer is 9,000 meters. Did you get both of them correct? If you did, good job. If not, maybe pause the video, rewind, and have a look at that section again. So as you probably noticed by now, centimeters are the smallest unit we've talked about today, meters are the middle unit we talked about today, and kilometers are the biggest unit of length we talked about today. Take a look around the room. When you're ready, I want you to go grab three things that you measure in centimeters. I want you to touch two things you would measure in meters. And then I want you to stop and think of one thing we would measure in kilometers. So grab three things that are measured in centimeters, touch two things measured in meters, and pause and think of one thing measured in kilometers. If you want an extra challenge, get a stopwatch out and see if you can do it in 30 seconds. When you're ready, pause the video and off you go. Okay, now that you're all experts on centimeters, meters, and kilometers, it's practice time. I'm gonna show you a picture of something that we want to measure. You have to decide which unit of length is the best one to use. Are you ready? Okay, first one, I want to measure my height. If I was trying to measure my height, would I use centimeters, meters, or kilometers? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, if I was measuring my height, I would most likely use centimeters or possibly meters, but definitely not kilometers, not that tall. Question two, if we wanted to measure the length from the back to the front of a truck, would we use centimeters, meters, or kilometers? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, for this one, we would definitely use meters as our measurement. Question three. If I wanted to measure the distance from Ireland to Italy, what would I measure it in? Centimeters, meters, or kilometers? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, for this one, I would definitely use kilometers because it is a big distance. We need a big unit of measure. Next question. This book cover from one side to another, which unit of length would I use to measure this distance? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, because it's a short, small distance, I would use centimeters for this one. And the last question, if I wanted to measure the distance from Earth to the moon, which unit of measure would I use? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, again, I would definitely be using the biggest unit I possibly could, so I would choose kilometers for this one. Okay, so our Walt for today was to name some units of length and to use them to guess or estimate the length of different objects. I think you are ready to do some practice activities now. So when you're ready, go down to the activities down below and give them a try. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.